Hi everyone, Kelt here, bringing you my thoughts on the British royal family, and today I'll be talking a bit more about Harry and Meghan. Harry has more of his past coming back to haunt him. He has been named in the US Department of Justice lawsuit against Sean Combs, otherwise known as P. Diddy. It's no secret that Harry likes to party and have fun, but he now is being associated with this person, this celebrity, as he was named by a person in this court case, the one who is filing the case. This celebrity had parties whereby, and without actually saying the words because of the limitations with this channel, if I say that the age of these people was very much in question and quite shocking, along with the manipulation and subsequent lack of consent, you hopefully understand what I'm saying here. And also a neighbour of this celebrity said recently that this person would bring busloads in every night. Well, this celebrity was arrested yesterday and his mansions taken over by authorities. Already, certain evidence of hidden access under the properties, if you will, has been discovered. I did say in previous videos that there would be big news coming out in April, and I still think there is even bigger than this. But in the meantime, the show goes on, and Harry cannot hide these things anymore. The blame game has kicked in, and it looks like the Yorks are having the blame put on them for Harry's being listed in this lawsuit. I think Harry manages fine to get himself in deep trouble without any help from the Yorks. I'm unable to go into great detail about all of this on this channel, but if you do your own research, you'll be able to form an opinion yourselves based on that research, whether you think it has any credibility or not. The document of this court filing itself is available online. I believe that they are all connected and that Soho House has played a big part in Harry's connections. It looks as though P. Diddy used Harry and his royal connections and also his connections to the celebrity world and the sports world to gain sexual favours. The big reveal in April or May, which some of we YouTubers have been talking about, will involve Harry and Meghan, but I believe it's even bigger than that and will be a massive can of worms that have just been opened. This is just the beginning of it. Let's not forget that they are still looking into Harry's visa regarding his alleged lying about drug use. There's a very good chance that he could be kicked out of the US. Maybe he would want to be now that things are getting a little bit too hot to handle. The celebrities named in this P. Diddy court filing are interesting. Here's just a few of them. Prince Harry, as we know. Bishop T.D. Jakes. Cassie Ventura, Georgia Mass Choir, Donald Lawrence, songwriter and music producer, the Clark Sisters, and the list goes on with names that I don't recognise, but some of you might. Smokey Norfolk, Fahim Mohammed, DeForest Taylor, and Jose Cruz. Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, were often in the company of dubious associates of their parents. Think Jeffrey Epstein. Now we see them in the company of these criminals in photos. It makes one wonder what they have actually been witness to at quite a young age. In all this mad panic about Harry, Prince William has been cropped out of some of these photos, which I think were at, at the Princess Diana Awards in the UK. William has had a lot of contact with various celebrities, but he never seemed to be as starstruck as Harry, and he also never seemed to be as close to the very dubious ones. In this photo of the four of them, William seemed slightly set apart, and Harry looks like he's actually one of them. Prince William associated with various celebrities, but never needed nor wanted to be one, unlike Harry, who seems to have always been starstruck and craved the celebrity lifestyle, rather than enjoy the benefits of being a blood-born prince. All this latest drama has been spoken about on GB News, and also, interestingly, the palace are not covering this up. 
they're not keeping quiet about it this time, which seems unusual. So all the seedy stuff is no longer just about Andrew, but now the focus is on Harry and the palace are not covering for him. So while this is pretty serious, it's not the big reveal, which is to come. And in the meantime, little Miss Homemaker, who gave up being a duchess to make jam and show off her homemade spreads, is now going into the wholesome pet food and makeup business. This sordid Harry reveal won't help his wife with her new venture into wholesomeness. Give it time, however, her links to this shady underworld will be revealed soon, I'm sure. So let, let me have your thoughts on this and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.